Well, hi everybody. How's it growing with you? We are in the statewide Arboretum greenhouse and we're taking cuttings today. Ideally, you're taking cuttings from woody plants Oh, in the late uh, late May into late June. So you got a month window. We took these cuttings in first part of July, right around July 4th, and put them in a mist bench. We'll show you that later. But these, these cuttings were just potted up yesterday because they had plenty of roots. So they were taken in early July and they're already in containers. That's pretty cool. So I talked to you about the process of how to take the cuttings, um, how to stick the cuttings in, into a media, and then how to root those cuttings. Right. This is called prairie willow, folks, and prairie willow is a rare plant in the trade. We're trying to change that, so that's one of the reasons we're propagating this. So, Gary? So, this, I have a box of perlite right here, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make little dents all over in the perlite. I'll but make Why are you using perlite versus just soil? So, the reason we're using perlite is because this is a sterile media. All right, so here we have a full of our cuttings and then we have some water in there as you can see so then they don't dry out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a cutting and I'm gonna show you so right here we have a node a node a node a node and then another node and we're gonna remove those bottom leaves four nodes uh -huh. that's a good thing. I prefer to go for at least two to four because if you only have one node it might be an inactive node and then you won't get roots from it all right so then we have a little bit of rooting powder it has an auxin in it which is a rooting hormone. And then we're just gonna take this, pop yeah, it in the hole. That was difficult. <laughs> so do you, do I need to like push so it around So at the it end all? actually, what we'll do is, I'll just do a little, you'll go. You love tap? Um. And then all of those little pieces of perlite just fall back into the center there. Sweet. And then your plant is fully encompassed. Mm -hmm. Now we just take them out of here, Yep. remove the lower leaves, mm -hmm. fill That's this exactly thing, and then we, we put it in the mist bench. All right, so here we are. We're in the greenhouse right now, and we're underneath our mist bench, which sprays about every 10 minutes for 10 seconds, just keeping these plants moist so then they are uh, wilting on us and dying. So here are the prairie willow that we just did. As you can see, they're all in there, for like holes. And in a couple of weeks, they should be having roots that look like this. They would hopefully be a little stronger than this because this guy is an aster, so it's gonna be a little weaker. Yeah, yeah. so now we just let them root and you can kind of test by pulling on them and seeing does it slip out really easy. You can see there's roots on that versus slipping out a little harder. Whoa, look at all the roots on that. So that one says to me, Garrett, I ah, think this dog's been caught it up. up. All right, yeah. Isn't that cool? 